Second type of surrender then, the first is penetrative, the second is surrender. You could also roughly say devotion, but that's more quality that one can cultivate all the time. But the act of then meditating would be the act of surrendering. This style of meditation, surrender, can be done using inquiry as well, which I'll explain in a little bit, or faith and devotion. Using inquiry for surrender, one conjures up a sincere interest, you got to want it, surrender and devotion really is a path of, of passion, it's a path of love, it's a path of, I really want to know myself, I really want to be one with God, I really want to be whole and complete, uh, at the expense of whatever else I think I want. So it's, it's devotional like that, you may have a million wants, but if you want to know your true self more, then you're devotional. And that devotion can really lead to the surrender type of experience becoming really accessible. That gateway of surrender can really open if you're sincere in your interest and devotion. Again, a guy being held underwater, their desire to go to the service is very one pointed. He may still want that fancy car, he may still want that perfect relationship. But in that moment, all he wants to do is go up to the service. It's like that devotion is like that love is like that. Love makes you blind, right? Love makes you blind to every other distraction or opportunity. And you just want what you know you really want. Devotion is like that too. So using inquiry, because there's also the direct faith approach, but let's use inquiry for surrender. One conjures up, once gathers, one gathers a sincere interest in seeing one's own layers of inauthentic or untrue assumptions about self, about me, about life, because one wants to go beyond the false assumptions, right? One wants to know the truth. One wants to surrender to the truth. So therefore, that means you're also willing to see whatever you're assuming right now, that's not true, that's distorting your lens of perception. So sincere interest to go beyond the inauthentic or untrue false perceptions and assumptions and layers and constructs of self and life. And that once you are then aware of such layers or constructs or sensations of like, ah, I'm just in this tiny little dirty little pool of thought and judgment and mm, it doesn't feel true. I know it's not the real reality. It's not the true nature of things. It's not that love and that freedom and that joy and that wholeness. So noticing those layers to then surrender the falsehoods discovered through this inquiry to God or to source or to the all that is or to the wholeness, the completion, the timeless, the supreme reality, the Atman, the Brahman, the Parabrahman, whatever it is, Christ, Allah, doesn't matter, words, 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 we're all talking about the same thing, you and I, life itself. So surrender it to life itself. Again, I like the word God myself, but I know a lot of people don't like that word. It's totally fine. It's just a word. But when I say God, I mean life itself, okay? Which is that infinite intelligence that enables every experience to begin with. It's life itself, not this or that element of life or extension of life or expression of life. Life itself, that formless quality that enables everything to begin with. I'll tone down my passion a little bit. So just kidding. To discover the falsehood through sincere interest, and then to discover that you don't want to hold on to that shit, you don't want to be a cornflake, you want to be whole. And so then it's like, God, please just have me. Instead of you penetrating into God, it's like God just penetrate me, I'm surrendering. I'm giving this up. I'm no longer holding my right to possess this thought and this idea and this opinion about myself and others and feel unworthy. And all these things are entitlement based. They're arrogant. They're all based in insecurity. Insecurity equals arrogance. Humility equals confidence. Arrogance is not the same as confidence. Confidence is never arrogant. And humility is never insecure. One more time. Arrogance is the expression rooted in insecurity. Confidence, which to a lot of insecure people looks like arrogance, but isn't. True confidence comes from humility. 
And humility, unlike a lot of cornflakes believe, is not insecure. It's not shy. That's not humility. Insecurity is arrogance. Humility is confidence. Confidence equals humility. Same energy. That's where devotion comes in. Your ability to surrender. I don't know what I don't know. And I know that what I do know, I think I know, but I don't really know. So becoming aware of these little patches of sensation within my mind and consciousness, these little falsehoods, these little stinky ponds of self-generated thoughts and arrogance and insecurity, I'm going to release that now. I'm going to surrender that back to life. That is the surrender type of meditation.